Well, before it even starts, Blink is being called one of the coolest events ever in Cincinnati. The four day light and art festival starts tomorrow. You can see it taking shape right now and local 12's Megan Mongello is live in Washington Park to show us what we can all expect. Megan, you had a cool tour earlier today and now you're outside the big balloon something. I don't know. What is it? <laughs> A giant inflatable dome, Paula. And when you come out to Blink, definitely expect to be wild. Think luminosity, but it'll be bigger and more spectacular. Behind me is a luminarium, and it is incredible to see inside. It's been to 40 different countries around the world, and now it's here in Cincinnati. This is your first look inside a giant luminarium called the Architects of Air. Dome lights and mazes will wow you when you step inside. It was designed by a man in France, but 60 of the 100 artists in the show are from Cincinnati, like Christian. He and the team from Kohler Design are working on an enchanted forest display that will use the Charlie Harper mural as a backdrop. There will be glowing stumps for seats and uh, to allow everybody to sit and watch the, the light projection show on the wall. In a big bird's nest? A big bird's nest, yeah. So we're going to be building a bird's nest this afternoon to go around the music stage. There will be uh, bands here playing each night. This metal peacock is another must-see art exhibit. It was created by Kyle and Tim, who've taken it around the world from their Baltimore studio. It'll look like this when it's complete. I took a log splitter and uh, it pushes it pushes the feathers up. So you know during the night we will open and close the feathers. It'll act like a real peacock. You can see it at Rookwood Pottery on Race Street. The festival runs along the streetcar route with stops along the way, like at the main library, where a 3D storybook comes to life. Blink goes 20 blocks from Finley Market to the Ohio River. <laughs> The music you're hearing is coming from this adult-sized teeter-totter. At night, it'll also light up. It's fun for kids and adults. Woo! Interactive, rideable, touchable art is what makes Blink so unique. There'll be 35 art installations, 22 projection mapping or light-up building walls on display, and nine murals. You can start anywhere along the event for Blink and just join in right there. You should be from each attraction be able to see where the next attraction is and you can also use the Cincinnati streetcar or Cincy red bike or, or just go by foot from each exhibit to each exhibit. Organizers tell me one of the main questions they're getting asked is how did you bring it to Cincinnati? That's not exactly what happened at all. In fact, they did bring artists here, but it's a homegrown event. A team here in Cincinnati got together to come up with the, the idea and really bring everything to life. So the organizers even are excited to see how this first ever event goes. And I can tell you, Paula and Rob, I had a lot of fun covering the story today. I bet you did. I'm interested. Are there any charges <laughs> anywhere? And, and do you know the answer to that? Yes, I do know the answer. The entire event is free. All 20 blocks to see everything. The only thing that will cost you money is what you're seeing behind me. This luminarium, it is Architects of Air. So it's a kind of a company that was brought in from France to display it here. So that's why there's a charge because it's an outside company. So $5 to walk through that. Everything else, just roam the streets and enjoy for free. What a great idea. Thanks very much, Megan. Tomorrow night, Sydney Benter will host our live stream of the Blink Parade at Local12.com. We'll have highlights of the parade tomorrow night at 10 on Star 64 and then on Local 12 after Thursday night football. I like that, don't it you? It's very cool. Yeah. It's going to be a fun week. Looking forward to seeing how that uh, turns out.